This painting is called Walk in the Garden and I painted it after visiting Monet's garden in Giverny, France. And I was just struck by the simple beauty of the landscape as the trees and the flowers would gather around this pond. And I could see why Monet was attracted or, or enjoyed painting this scene. This painting is called After the Storm. And uh, sometimes I, I like to use uh, symbolism or, or have a, a, a more kind of a spiritual undertone that goes through a painting that speaks to my, my Christian beliefs. And in this painting you have the lighthouse up on the, the rocky cliff, which is the, you know, leads the, the person to safety. And just barely, it looks like the ship has survived the storm as the light breaks through the clouds uh, to be a symbol of, of divine intervention. In this painting, which I call Mountain Heights, I was interested in capturing that feeling of the, the, the grandeur of God's creation. I, I, I really liked that old world feeling of color and light, and that was what really drew me in when I first started my professional career. And so this painting called Along the River showing a, a scene uh, along a, a French canal is reminiscent of those early Barbizon painters that I, I so much adore. And with landscape paintings, for me, it's all about creating that feeling that you get. And this painting called Into the Light reminded me of my drive, drives that, that I took through the, uh, the Tuscan landscape of Italy few years ago and uh, it just it just warms my heart when I see these kind of things. When I visited Italy I traveled along the Italian Riviera and stopped at some of the small towns along the way. Uh, their charm and, and beauty was just uh, just mind-boggling uh, and this was a scene that caught my eye uh, it, it, could have, it reminded me of something that could have been a hundred years ago. This is a painting called Mountain Cascade and I love the challenge of painting water whether it's uh, water on a still lake or rushing water coming down uh, a mountain waterfall. It's exciting. Water is alive and it moves and I always look for an opportunity when possible to put water in one of my paintings. I have to say that I love to paint the desert and the canyons and the red rocks. Always looking for an opportunity to do that. Uh, I've visited the Grand Canyon many times. Uh, it just, it, it just, it's mouth dropping when you first go there and you look out over this expanse and you you look at the colors and the patterns of light that, that work themselves across the landscape. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's no wonder that it's been one of the most painted places on earth. I like to paint all different kinds of landscapes. I like to paint uh, scenes in the country uh, as well as you know scenes out in the great outdoors. And, and here we have a, a picture that shows the autumn harvest pumpkin patch and the corn and the sunflowers. You know, I, I love traveling through small towns and picking out really these quaint little turn of the century farms that that are so inviting and so warm. And uh, you know that's you know as an artist you've got to paint the things that inspire you. And this is a type of thing, a type of scene that I love. This painting is called Path of Peace. And for me, this has spiritual undertones because it really represents to me the importance of, of following uh, God's messenger or guardian angel, if you want to call it that. When, when we are going through some of our most troubling times, often there is a, uh, what I consider a guardian angel or someone there watching over us 
you know, we need to listen to the, uh, the promptings that come and the feelings of comfort that we can receive through God's light when these things happen. And I truly believe this, and I hope that a lot of my uh, who I am and my personal feelings and beliefs come through in my painting. Uh, I think that I think they do. I think that you can't not uh, feel my 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 person who I am when you look at my paintings.